what is good y'all this is miles of maps here and we have a great map today again we're always coming with the most fire maps out here right so today you know i have a question for you it's do you like food um hopefully the answer is yes because um if you if you didn't like food then i, I suggest go and see a doctor um but today we are going to be looking at food maps about the United States, about, you know, this is called the gastronomic borders in the United States. Is it your gastro, you know, that's your intestine. That's, you know, how your food gets into your, uh, gets out your body, you know, you know the things. So we're gonna be looking and seeing this first map today. Actually, let's get out. Let's go look at this first map because it's really detailed. So if we look at this first map here, and this is from uh, Google News Lab. So these are people that are on Google that uh, are putting in their data, right? So. If we look here, Mexican food, you know, near the Mexican border makes sense. But as we see in the middle of the United States, you know, first of all, where are you from in here? Like, do you see where you're at? I'm in um, this area over here in Sacramento, California, uh, this area over here. So I think that's all I can zoom in. But this area over here, which is a lot of Mexican food. Um, and then as you can see, you know, along the coast, uh, what seafood is this pink. So seafood along the coast. And it definitely makes sense that right here, there would be, uh, you know, Mexican food because it's near the Mexican border. And then you have uh, this uh, pizza, which is this area over here. You know, not a lot of people live over here. This is where, uh, you know, Area 51 is. So, yeah. And then you can see if we move over, uh, we look in Alaska, um, steakhouse. You see steakhouse, you know, I think they're, they got a lot of animals out there. So there's probably a lot of fresh steak. So... <laughs> Uh, what else? I don't know what this gray is, but, uh, oh, burgers. Burgers is the gray. So, you can see gray is the, the burgers. Um, a lot of places in, uh, Texas that are just empty, but I can see gray is burgers, Mexican food, but it's, it's a lot. You know, pizza in the, in the middle. A lot of seafood, seafood along the East Coast, but it looks like there's a lot of pizza in the middle of the country. And then sandwiches, and you got sandwiches over here. And I think what that's New Jersey, Philadelphia, um, there's like this whole area right there. So yeah, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's keep on, let's keep on looking. I think this is a pretty cool map to start out with. You got barbecue in the South. I think it's this gold. So yeah, it's cool. Barbecue over here. So there's definitely a lot. I, I'm definitely going to put this map in the description so you can see what I'm seeing, but we're going to move on. So, okay. So more searches for tacos versus more searches for Chinese food. It's very interesting that, you know, more, if the West coast is closer to Asia and, you know, China, but they search way less for, um, you know, for, uh, Chinese food, but they're closer to Mexico, which, you know, tacos. So that makes sense. Um, this is kind of cool though. So, but why though? It said, um, this led to a lengthy wait, but <laughs> wait, but why debate specifically if the divide was a vestige of the Eastern border of the Louisiana purchase. And that's true. Cause this is where the Louisiana pur uh, purchase is right about here. Um, this whole area, this whole middle part. So, uh, taking this idea one step further, we begin asking, what is the taco capital of the United States? A good question. What is the taco capital of the United States? Uh, what is the exact longitude where Chinese food eclipses tacos? But, uh, what about regional or regional region all preferences? Uh, I got it right in front of me too. Such as the South affinity for barbecue. We reached out to Google for answers. Uh, so we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Now we got, it says the proportion of restaurant visits that are pizzerias by county as we can see here in the middle this darker purple this is more popular versus less popular so in this darker purple right here iowa kansas have the highest rates of pizza restaurant visits out in california where i'm at seems though we're, we're pretty all right but it seems as though that it's this middle this midwestern area so i think doing some research and that might be some it might be cool like what type of people uh why this is kentucky uh marks a steep decline uh, Kentucky border marks a steep decline in uh, pizza restaurant visits so like this area right here this Midwest area um, it looks like that's the center of pizza in the United States 
pizza must have more competition uh, as you move south and west better barbecue and mexican options so let's take a closer look at barbecue all right barbecue restaurants now so the proportion of uh restaurant visits that are barbecue restaurants by county barbecue falls off um at the 36 37 parallel right here so as you can see oh look at this you got some good barbecue in the south over here um up here they love barbecue up here um it's kind of spotty out every out there it's just one county a county there but it seems though that it's it's very popular in the south i've been to uh, kansas city before so it's in uh this area so yep yeah, it's definitely barbecue out there one of my cousins um, he has a, he had a whole basement, uh, where he just, it was all like a man cave. And then he just had on the outside, it was a garage that he rolled up. And on the outside of the garage was his barbecue pit. Um, he was a pit master. It was great. So I was just a kid and I was like, wow, I'm uh, to meet new family, get good barbecue. And, uh, yeah, this, this map is definitely real. Again, purple is the more popular barbecue purveyors can bring your craft north here are some cuisine to browse click to enlarge so coffee where are people drinking the most coffee all right so here's the coffee uh visits per county so as you can see it's more in the i would say in the bigger cities and so you can see in the bay area uh i don't oh up here i don't uh, maybe santa loves coffee hold up let's go see what San <laughs> I think Santa really loves coffee. Wow, look at this. Santa loves pizza. Because that's like the top of, you know, that's, that's uh, you know, the top of America. So, that's kind of cool. So, if we see in the, co maybe, you know, colder places over here. You know, it's not really cool down here. But it seems as though bigger cities in the west, you know, west coast, primarily, they really like coffee. And again, these maps, I think it's a good time to talk about how these maps are, you know, made. So these, this data can be very misleading. So if you have a county right here um, in California, which is huge, there's not a lot of people that live in it. So it might be this darker purple. It seems as though they're like, wow, there's, you know, there's people, you know, the, this county has a lot of people that, you know, it's very popular there, but it's very popular amongst a very small amount of people. It's kind of like cows don't vote. And I think it's, the, <laughs> it's like, and that's what I mean when it comes to these uh, these counties is like this Santa Santa lives you know snow doesn't vote so it, it's all about uh, how many people are actually there so all you know in these smaller counties there might be way more people that like uh, coffee uh, per, you know not proportionally but that really like coffee compared to a county here so if we look across country snow looks uh, there's big uh, coffee shop visits Burger County right there. Yeah, it's in major cities, but we can move on. And then it says cuisines ranked by their uh, total visits. So let's see about this. So the top visits, you know, Detroit, Michigan for pizza. If you did not know, Little Caesars comes from Detroit, Michigan. So that definitely makes sense. But uh, Boston, Philadelphia, um, so easy burger sandwiches. So Mexican, Dallas. So a lot of places in the Southern United States, um, or not Southern, but in the Southern portion of the United States, uh, geographic wise, you can see in this area, in this area right here, that's connected to Mexico, Chinese food. So New York and, uh, so a lot of takeout, a lot of takeout, Philadelphia, Ooh, Oklahoma city wouldn't, wouldn't have guessed that, but there we go. Las Vegas, Nevada makes sense. And then now we're going to skip over all these. So these are really cool. I think, um, oh, wow. From Sac so Sacramento, California, San Diego. Cool. So, uh, and then coffee. Wow. Sacramento. I'm from Sac. So there we go. Making the list there in DC for burgers. Uh, politicians love burgers. Seattle, number one in coffee. Doesn't surprise anyone. Same thing with New Orleans for seafood. Um, Detroit. Yep. Number one pizza. Detroit style pizza is surely a thing. Uh, in Philly, they take number one for sandwiches, so we get to see cool stuff. But here, we get to see how people voted between these two different things. One of the things when I, I used to work at a, a bookstore, which I think I should start. I, I could do some great stories about this bookstore. I used to work at a bookstore, and I used to always ask peop people pizza or tacos. So pizza or Mexican food, as you can see, we can see how it's divided. Uh, Santa Claus loves... Uh, as you can see, pizza right there. <laughs> so, 
he really likes pizza. And then you see the north, they're more pizza. And then the south, it's more uh, the Mexican food. Now, let's see how pizza stacks up against uh, Italian food. Ooh. So, as you see here, so... There's, it's about even a lot of these places in California, but then it still thinks pizza is more popular than Italian food. I did not know that. I think pizza might be the king. Pizza might be uh, the king. Pizza versus barbecue. Okay. So you can see in the south right here. Let's see if anything can take over. Is anything bigger than pizza? Uh, maybe coffee. Wow. Coffee versus pizza. Coffee is more popular than pizza. I've heard it here, folks. Coffee is more popular than pizza. And then, you know, insufficient data is this right here. So let's see. Uh, we'll come back to the coffee, but let's see if um, steak. You know, sorry, if you're vegan out there, you know, people do eat meat, though. <laughs> so steak right here. It's still pizza Let's uh, versus Chinese food. Yep, it's still, uh, still pizza is the, the best. Japanese, nah, Indian, sandwich. Oh, it's the blue. Blue is a sandwich. Oh, Indian food. Let's see where it's Indian food's at. Um, let's say Indian versus Mexican food. Oh, wow. Wow. So Mexican food's really popular. Let's do Mexican food versus coffee. Oh, I think coffee's coffee's number one. Um, I think the United States really likes coffee. Let's see. Let's just do a couple more Mexican food versus Chinese food. Okay, so you can see Chinese food's more pop, it, and it's really just it. It, it goes by the the border. <laughs> you can literally make a line right through here, and that clearly shows where uh, you know how people are. You know how close you are to Mexico versus how close you aren't. Um, and then you know Chinese food up there. So. I could do this forever. Um, let's do Mexican food versus Italian. That's not close. Let's do hmm, versus pizza. Oh, we've done that. Coffee versus pizza. So I think that when it comes down to a map like this, it's cool. So I very much enjoyed this map. It looks like uh, the, the elves and Santa like coffee more than they do like pizza. But if you enjoyed this map, Please give me a like, a subscribe. We're coming with daily map videos, geography videos, um, things just to expand your worldview, uh, maps that are just cool to cool to look at, uh, maps that give you cool information, maps that uh, make you see the world a little bit different. But let me let me ask you the question. Question of the day is: coffee or pizza? Or let's do a do you like pizza or tacos? Pizza or tacos? It's kind of up to you. So yeah, answer that question. Uh, for me in the comments uh, comment down below if you would like to see any type of video or any type of maps um, Yeah, just let me know. We'll come with daily map videos. Thank you very much. Have a fantastic day, and I'll see you tomorrow